All right, guys, in this video, what we're going to be doing is this is an activist at the march that was just Saturday. And this is from the convo couch. And the strange thing is he was asking Cory Bush a question. Cory Bush didn't answer him. But CNN, Cory Bush did give the answer. And it was kind of shocking that she actually said, we're not voting as a block. What? She, no. And I'm going to show y'all. Listen, we're going to listen to him first. Then we're going to listen to Cory. March for Medicare for All uh, rally in Lincoln Park, at Lincoln Park in Washington, D.C. today. And so, you know, noticing Cori Bush, I walk over to her and I ask, can I interview you? You know, can I just ask you two questions on camera just real quick? You know, her and her security guard look at each other. They're kind of suspicious of me. They're like, you know, who are you with? And I say, I'm totally independent. I'm just doing this for myself. You know, I just do this alone. And then I was like, here. I'll even tell you the questions before I start filming so that you can decide whether you want to do this or not. And so I said, the first question is, why are you here today? You know, why'd you show up to the March for Medicare for All? The second question was, how would you respond to your force the vote critics who think that elected progressives should use their leverage as a block? And Corey responds, I'll answer the first question for you. I support Medicare for all because, you know, the, the good, a good answer on why you would support Medicare for all. But then when it came to the second question, I asked again, you know, why, why can't why can't you ask, answer the second question? Oh, it's just a manufactured division. You know, it's not really a problem. You know, we're not that divided at all. That's just manufactured, you know, basically just brushing it off as if nobody has a reasonable concern. Like, as if force to vote wasn't even a real thing. And so, while she's walking away, I say, that was a very politician-y answer of you to give. Because it was like, what the fuck? She totally just dodged it. You know, all of these people showed up this day. Plenty of them, I you'll see in the interviews I post, plenty of them... Now, this is the answer that she didn't give him. This is the real answer. And it's strange that it's on Kyle's channel... And yet, Kyle is giving tongue baths to these people and licking boots after it's on his channel. And then I'm going to show you some corrupt stuff that Kyle does after this video. Now listen to this. This is Cori Bush on CNN telling the truth that she didn't tell the activists. Cori Bush went on CNN and um, she was actually asked a phenomenal question from the interviewer here. So massive credit. Um... She's basically going to be asked, hey, why don't why doesn't the left use their leverage like the right often does? And her answer is beyond underwhelming. Senate uh, Senator Joe Manchin from West Virginia has essentially, uh, you know, used what seems to be a veto power against a lot of progressive priorities, including some of the ones that you've uh, mentioned. But in the, in the House, Democrats have this two seat majority. There are. Uh, six members of the squad of which you are a part. Uh, what's stopping you from flexing that same power for your agenda? You just said you would vote against a compromise on qualified immunity. Are you prepared and the rest of the squad prepared to use that kind of veto power that you have if you vote as a block? You know, it, it, I'm prepared to do whatever is needed to make sure that we you know, that we uh, that our agenda moves forward. Um, but I can't speak for the rest of the squad members. At the end of the day, my sister Ayanna, Rep. Ayanna Presley says it all the time. You vote alone and you're voting for your districts. So you're voting for the people who voted you in. There it is. There it is. I've, I've gotten a lot of shit for saying that exact thing in my criticisms of the Justice Democrats. Again, a group which I co-founded. So I know a thing or two about what the idea was. Because I was one of the ones who fucking created it. So any Okay, now, after saying that, this is what he comes back and says, now this is, now mind you, he already knew this answer months ago about why they do what they do, so why is he defending them in any kind of way? He, just, he should just say, hey audience, Corey Bush, I showed the video, they're not going to vote as a group, so... Medicare for all, you might not get it because they're not going to vote together to do anything. And she just said it. And she wouldn't, but she, she would tell CNN, but she wouldn't tell the activists. Now let's go into this. And here's Kyle. 
once again. Now look this now this is I can't I don't have to, he doesn't have the date on this one. But this has to be sometime either the yesterday or the day before because this is about the Medicare march where he defends these people. So you have to build coalitions when it comes to getting things like this accomplished and to be a very like insular angry niche subgroup is uh you're not doing yourself any favors in fact you're hurting yourself so to the extent that there was anybody who was making that argument and maybe there were but i think it's a tiny 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 percentage of the people who who were involved in the march i would say relax breathe it's okay nina turner it would be one of our biggest champions and everybody better go vote for her um you know another criticism was in regards to Cory Bush, Cory Bush showed up to one of these events, and then you had, you know, some angry, disgruntled uh, person at one of the events who was basically, I guess you could say, screaming at Cory Bush or calling out Cory Bush and basically saying, like, where were you on force the vote? You were nowhere to be found. So basically sort of trying to make it seem like she's an enemy. Guys, I mean, the reason she showed up to the march is because she believes in Medicare for All and she wants to show support. So for her to then do the right thing and then you attack her for, what, not doing the right thing sooner? I mean, that's a little context dense. This is, if you want to really win people over to be your ally and to fight arm in arm with you, you don't look at something they do that's positive and then give them shit for something that they previously did that's negative. You know? People need to realize how to how to deal with people who we consider enemies versus people who we consider imperfect allies. Now, I would argue for sure Cory Bush is an imperfect ally, um, but I mean, I guess there are some people who would seriously argue that no, she's an enemy. But to those people, I'd say, good luck ever getting anything done ever at all, because if that is your mindset, if Cory Bush isn't pure enough to make it into the coalition, then there is literally nobody who's going to make it. Kyle has been running cover for the Justice Democrats for four years. Four. Four. And this is him just, look, six months ago. Listen to him here. Six months ago. Teaching a politician, hey, here's why the politics of this are intelligent. So it's not just the correct thing in principle, which it is. It's also the correct thing in terms of strategy. Go ahead, vote against Medicare for All in a pandemic. I want to see it. I want to see it. Th that'll be one of those things where it'll go down in the history books as shameful. 50 years from now, 100 years from now, people look back and say, holy shit, the party that was supposed to be the left party, half of them voted against universal health care in a pandemic? Now, this is the same guy who's saying that that would be like just terrible and, and he's defending these people. The previous video I just showed you, he's defending. He's running cover for those same people that he just said how terrible this is. This guy is such a fraud. But look, look here he is. Look, way back in May of 2017, look. He's as bad as it gets for the corporate Democrats. But guess what? Yet again, Justice Democrats has the solution. Let me introduce you to Alexandria Ocasio. Uh, she worked for Bernie Sanders' campaign in the Bronx, worked very hard for him, traveled to Standing Rock during the standoff that was happening there. Why? Because she actually cares about the issues and she cares about the people. She studied economics and international uh, relations. She's taking no corporate money, no PAC money. This is, to be a Justice Democrat, you ha that's a requirement. You can't be a Justice Democrat if you're taking corporate and PAC money. She's taking no corporate money, no PAC money, and... Uh, she's for a new New Deal. She's going to push that. She's going to push for ending private prisons, end the drug war. How many how many lives have been ruined because of private prisons, where they try to find new lobbyists, try to find new ways to lock people up because they make more money the more people are locked up. She's going to fight on these issues. She's also going to fight for free college. She's right there on Medicare for All. She's right there on re-regulating Wall Street. Every area where Representative Crowley has failed you and sold out, she's going to be there to fix it. And she's done none of that. And Kyle is still covering her. Guys, it, May 20, 2007, this is four years ago, and he's still covering for Justice Democrats. But I want to show you this. Look how much money they, that he raised just four years ago. Look at this. Because we're actually doing it. It's actually happening. Uh, and are you ready for this? The most incredible fact yet. 
Guys, we did it. We crossed the million dollar line. We we didn't even launch this thing that long ago. We already passed a million dollars. The exact number is $1,024,387 raised so far for Justice Democrats and brand new Congress. Now, that's a lot of money. That was four years ago. Jink and Kyle, they've also gotten Katzenberg money for $20 million. And no telling how much other money that uh, AOC and the, and the Justice Democrats have raised on their own. Because Kyle is a part of that $20 million. You best believe uh, he only left because uh, Jimmy exposed him and his he was losing subscribers. But other than that, he just stayed with that kind that he run. God, he made they, he brought in a million dollars four years ago for people that have done nothing. Not, and he's still defending them as a, it, it was just Saturday. He's still defending these people. Now he wants us to vote for Nina Turner. Nina is a justice gem, a, a justice Democrat. She's already corrupted. Nina didn't say, Nina didn't show up. You do not, do not big that would have been for her campaign to go out there and, and tweet all over Medicare for all and go out there and run for that and vote and, and, and show up for the people. She didn't show up for the people because she's a Democrat. She showed up for the party. That's what she showed up for. Well, she, she showed up for them for her, her campaign. That would have been the biggest campaign she could have ran on. She's been talking about Medicare for all as long as Kyle. Kyle's been talking about it for six years consecutive. Look at this. Look at all these videos Kyle has. Medicare for all of these are Medicare for all videos. And then, then when they don't do what they said, and he was talking about just, look, this thing goes and keeps going and keeps going. And all of these. Look at this. Poll. Most Americans want Medicare for all. Six years ago. God, look. Justice Democrats was born five years ago. He was talking about, this is Medicare for all six years ago. Six years ago. Now, look. Now this is one week ago. AOC finally fights. Kyle's he he keep he just keeps running cover. Look, here's uh here's uh Ro Connor. Less than a less than a week ago. After Ro Connor gave a tongue bath to an ex Republican warmonger. Kyle's Kyle still's like, yeah, well, you know, I like him on policy. What? What has Ro Connor done? But Ro Khan, he's defending AOC, Cory, Cory, what, Cory Bush, Nina Turner. He, he's covering, I don't, he's gotta be financially tied to these people. Why else would he consistently be nice to these people? He refuses to say anything. Jimmy, Jimmy Dore said he's not voting for another Democrat. Kyle keeps saying, oh, just don't vote for corporate Democrats. Vote for justice Democrats. Well, none of them have done anything. And Cory Bush, after Cory Bush said that, he should never defend them ever again. She said, we're not voting together as a block. He should just go ahead and say, hey, audience, they're not going to do it. We, we, we have to work on something else because the, the, the actual insider has told me. I'm not, I'm not telling you hearsay. An actual insider said this. And then here's, here's Nina. Look at all these videos. Medicare for all. Medicare for all. For years ago. I showed you, Kyle, Kyle's had like 50 videos for Medicare, but Kyle, like he said, he formed the Justice Democrats and he keeps running cover for him. Kyle is a sheep herder for the Democrats. He just uses progressives and leftists to run his scam. That's all he does. Here she is, look, giving a, oh, you should hear this speech. It sounds so magnificent and wonderful. All lies. If Nina was, if Nina was really for the people, she wouldn't have joined the just the uh, Justice Democrats, especially after the Justice Democrats went out there and and endorsed Neera Tandon. And Neera Tandon is one of the most evil people in this world, next to Hillary Clinton. Nina Tandon wants she does not want you to get Medicare. In fact, I have a video of her saying that she wanted to cut Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security. And the Justice Democrats are giving homage to they just praising her. Nira Tandon who wants to cut it and then Nina joins them and then I'm going to tell you look at the people who are supporting her uh, AOC Kyle Jink anybody that Kyle and Jink supports I don't trust Kyle was running cover I showed you the video Kyle was running cover for AOC four years ago and he's still doing it four years later and they've done nothing and he said in his video, they're going to run on Medicare for all. Then in the video with Justin Jackson, he said, that if you don't get a floor vote, that's just 
you know, that's, that's they're going to remember you for the next 50 years. Then he, then he, he, he gives these people tongue baths. Nina Turner's next. But your options are get a, just a regular Hillary back corporate Democrat or vote for a justice Democrat. Same thing. It's just who do you like more to screw you? That's what it is as a personality because both either one is they're both going to vote for the however the however Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats want her to vote. So it doesn't really matter if you get Nina, if you get Nina or you get what's Chantel Brown. It's going to be the same thing. It's going to be the exact same thing because the, 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 uh, Demo the Democratic establishment, all they've done is they've hedged their bets. They, they own both of them. Everybody, everybody inside the Justice Democrats are owned by Nancy Pelosi. Every one of them. And Cori Bush, she was kind of scared to say it. She was like, yeah, you know, uh, you know, I'm willing to do whatever, but she was, she was, she was, come on. And then she wouldn't even answer that guy, but she going to see it and then she answered him. Guys, these people, it, and Kyle, I used to, you know, I, I used to like Kyle. Kyle and Jimmy were two of my favorites. But when Kyle did what he did to Jimmy, it made me open my eyes and I started seeing all of the corruption that Kyle's been doing for all of these years. When I saw him stick up for Jink and he made that argument with Jink about Anna, that just blew my mind because I was like, you know, I showed y'all the video with Justin Jackson in, in AOC. He knows that's what all of this started behind force to vote. Once Jink went against force to vote, Jimmy went all war with him. It was no, it was no more talking with Jink. The only thing Jimmy had was bad words. Jimmy's channel was seven, eight years old. He had never said anything bad about Jink. But when Jink showed that that Kassenberg money made him and, and then Jink kept flip flopping on, well, don't vote for Nancy Pelosi. But, then he'd come back and say, well, you have to vote for Nancy Pelosi, because if you don't vote for Nancy Pelosi, then uh, McCarthy, the Republican, he's going to take over. So, yeah, you have to vote for her. Then he'd come back and say, Justice Democrats, you have to fight against Nancy. And I was like, what the hell? And then, like my other video, when I showed it, Nancy Pelosi, one of her donors, one of her big fundraisers, is Katzenberg, the same guy who gave Jink the money. So, that's why, that's why they, they you know. That's why he was kept saying, vote for Nancy, don't vote for Nancy. And the Justice Democrats, I showed you, they, they were making a million, a million dollars four years ago. AOC is one of the biggest fundraisers next to Nancy Pelosi now. And then she's, then he's, then Kyle is saying, well, they don't take corporate money. Yeah, they take, if they don't, they take a small donor money and giving it to the corporate Democrats. They gave the corporate Democrats, AOC gave the corporate Democrats a hundred thousand dollars. Why isn't Kyle saying anything about that? Cause he's in it. He's a corrupt criminal, just like the rest of them. I'm going to say they're corrupt, and I say they're grifters, and, and AOC giving that money to all those people, and Kyle still defending them just showed that they're all in it. And I, and I started putting it all together. I said, Kyle, Jink, they started just the Democrats, and they're always defending them, even as they're giving money to corporate Democrats. Kyle is not our friend. He is not. And he said, Justice Democrats, he said, they're our allies. No, Kyle, they're your allies. They're an enemy of the people. They're bought and paid and they're hacks. Just like Kyle. Kyle is a careerist. He's been doing this over 10 years. And the only thing he's been doing is preaching a bunch of lies. Because every time it came time to do something for Medicare for All, he didn't do it. None of them did it. None of them did a thing for, for forced to vote on Medicare for all. None of them did a thing. When Jimmy was out there fighting hard, Kyle wasn't out there just fighting. I showed you, Kyle had one video with forced to vote and it was him talking about AOC and, and, uh, um, it was about AOC and Justin Jackson. Kyle should have been the main, he got six years worth of videos. He should have been the main one screaming up and down. Yes. Yes. And then he showed you four years ago, AOC, he put that in what she ran on. Medicare for all. Then when it come time to do it, they all do the same thing. And I'm and I just I realized it after I was like, Kyle's a fraud. When he would have somebody like Vosh, you would bring Vosh and Hassan on, and you would cancel Jimmy. That proved that he was a fraud. And when he made it about Anna, instead of all of this mess that Jink has caused for himself, it's because he went against forced to vote. Jink got himself into all of this because he went against forced to vote. And then when he couldn't be right about it, and Jimmy kept saying, you took that $20 million and you sold out. 
And every time he would say that, Jink would start trying to make it personal. You know, he would start making personal attacks because he couldn't defend. He was corrupt. So he attacked Jimmy. And then he, then he tried to blackmail. That was a joke. That was just, just Jink trying to muddy it up, just put up a smoke screen because he didn't know what else to do. So he just started trying to make up stuff. You know, that's because they're caught. Kyle, Kyle got caught. Kyle got caught. And then he, then he makes a scene like, oh, I'm leaving TYT after he got caught. And people caught on to him being a fraud. Is is no way he got, he says I'm 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 ten for fifty I'm ten or fifteen percent with them. What what ten or fifteen percent is that? They're a hundred percent wrong, Kyle. What part of that? Oh, I'm with the ten or fifteen percent that involves the money. Everything else, I I might not agree with everything else, but Kyle is getting that money. He he was on it. He's been on the network for years. Then when he gets exposed, he suddenly leaves. He's corrupt. He pulled you in, and I don't. I don't think he left. I think he just said he left because he was he was bleeding subscribers. These people are liars and they're corrupt, and they'll say anything to keep their careers going. And Kyle says that AOC, she he says the the squad they're not corrupt. That's because Kyle is corrupt just like them. All of them are corrupt. And if you if you don't want a third party, you got nothing in a Democratic Party. Either you got you gonna have to go with the corporate Democrats or the Justice Democrats, and the Justice Democrats are owned by the corporate and the uh, corporate Democrats. So either way, you're gonna lose. Thank y'all.